Now, the situation continues to be tense in parts of Kashmir Valley after the death of two civilians in Shopia. Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Mehbooba Mufti has conveyed her anguish to Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman. Now, in the latest, the police has filed an FIR against the army and a magisterial probe has been ordered. The police said the army did not take police into confidence and went into Gawanpura village, which led to the stone pelting. They also refuted army's claims about dispersing the youth with aerial firing. On the other hand, the army says it was constrained to fire in self-defense to prevent lynching of an officer and burning of government vehicles by the mob. Seven army men suffered injuries and extensive damage was caused to 11 vehicles. And I'm joined by correspondent Khalid Shah from Shopia. Khalid, how tense is the situation in Jammu and Kashmir after the clash between the army and stone pelters? Uh, well, the situation in South Kashmir in particular is very tense at the moment. Uh, in the Shopian town, the entire uh, town has been shut down. There are strikes that have been uh, going on. Uh, we are right now at the epicenter of where this uh, particular incident took place. And thousands of people have attended uh, the funeral of the boys who were uh, killed yesterday in the armed forces fighting. Uh, it was said that the, as per the army, that uh, the uh, their patrol got stuck in stone pelting mob after which many of their jawans and including a JCO was uh, injured, and that's why they fired in retaliation. But the situation seems to be tense now because uh, the Jammu and Kashmir police has also filed an FIR against the army. There's been a magisterial probe which has been. Uh, inquired in this particular matter. The Shopian town particularly here is very tense. The situation uh, out here at the moment is uh, not out of control. There are not many protests happening, but certainly the anger and the rage is brewing up. There are uh, various pockets where the roads are blocked and the entire area has uh, indeed been cordoned off by the police forces. Uh, uh, they have indeed circled the entire right, area. Also, Khalid, two different versions are coming out of the same incident from the army and the police. What further details do you have on that? Well, yes, certainly a, a, a probe has been ordered by the Jammu and Kashmir police, uh, in which they have said an FIR has been filed against the army unit. Uh, the Jammu and Kashmir police saying that after the killing of the terrorists in the encounter, uh, the entire town, the entire Shopian area had been kept uh, in control. There were not many skirmishes or protests reported. Uh, from the area and that's why uh, they have filed an FIR because uh, they say that the presence of armed forces, the army in that area was not mandated. They should have indeed had a uh, cover of Jammu and Kashmir police uh, to really maneuver through the area. And today also while we were on our way to Shupian, we were told uh, that uh, the entire area where CRPF and army camps are, the police is uh, uh, indeed having the outer cover of those camps uh, to make sure that there is no untoward incident uh, as such furthermore. Right, that was Khalid Shah reporting from Shopi on the latest on the situation in Jammu and Kashmir.